Hi YouTubers, we want to share a product with you. So this is a smart fast charger for your car in 10 amps charging per hour. So it's pretty powerful, it's a rapid car charger. So on the market you will find two versions from 6 amps an hour or 10 amps. We recommend if you have bigger batteries to charge them with 10 amps per hour. Because uh, if you choose this fast charger for small batteries, let's say 50 amps, 60 amps batteries, it will deteriorate in time. But if you use it to in the winter or a couple of times, this won't be a problem. The problem is, of course, when you charge them more often. So I buy myself this charger for the Webastos battery because I use Webasto a lot in the winter and um, driving in the city you will not uh, the car will not be able to charge the battery properly so i need a car a fast uh, charger so i have a battery of uh, 110 amps it's a big battery it's a beast with varta silver it's the top of the varta batteries and uh, i'm curious in uh, if this uh, smart fast charger will charge uh, the battery and it will be efficient in time because uh, a charger must be efficient in time not once or twice if you charge the battery so you have some functions uh, it has over voltage charging functions not to burn your battery i think uh, on 14 volts 14.2 it will stop short circuit protection if you put the plus to minus in short it will start, uh, you know how are these products, it will start easy and then uh, it will give, if the battery is uh, discharged, we have an instruction manual, um, a warranty or something. And here we have some specifications of the two charges, the 6 amps or the 10 amps, dependently which you will prefer. It will charge rapidly in 10 amps until 90%. Over 90% it will do a soft charging. Uh, and this is good to protect the battery. I gotta tell you that this uh, smart fast charger doesn't have a button. This is where it displays the voltage and the battery level uh, for, the, for example, if your battery is in half, it will display 50% as the charging current and the status on the right side. These are not buttons. This charger, when you plug in, it will automatically start. The problem to this charger are these wires. And if you see here, I uh, put some duct tape because the wires in time if you remove them it will break so it's a good thing to put uh, an additional duct tape on the back side it will tell you the model and the model of 10 amps be careful it's 12 uh, 10d plus without that plus is not the the 10 amps is the 6 amps and it will tell you charging current uh, 10 amps maximum anything else i want to say that it has a fan be careful that uh, uh, if you leave it outside you can leave it uh, and this is good a good thing this will work uh, under minus 20 plus 80 degrees something uh, like this so actually it's minus 20 plus 90 uh, degrees and this is interesting it uh, works at the low lowest temperature and highest temperature at the extremes i hope it will work and uh, be careful where you put it if you put it outside uh, this is a fan inside cooling this unit uh, and uh, be careful not to put in this unit outside because it has on the top and on the bottom it's a fan on the bottom and on the top it's a grill and uh, the water will easy infiltrate so you got to store it and uh, use it in the space uh, dried space so guys let's put it to the car let's test it let's see how is the charger so just plugged in it look like this 100% because the battery is not inserted and uh, it moves the functions from charging voltage to the battery level and now my battery is uh, discharged because uh, I use Webasto a lot in the city and uh, the car doesn't have time in a few kilometers to 
charge the battery. So now it's 50%. Whoa, <laughs> the keyless. Uh, this ODA8, it's a large consumer. It has a lot of computers. Um, let's see. Now it's 14.3. 25% is charged and it charges with 10 amps an hour. <clears throat> the fan is started. It wouldn't be great that the manufacturer put a sensor, a temperature sensor to sense what is temperature outside. To stop the fan, the fan must not work while it's, uh, it's in cold, the charger while it's in cold. Now it's charging with 10 amps, charging status, it tells me 13.6 volts, so it's 40% charge the battery. Now we're gonna leave it uh, <clears throat> and see how is the charging uh, in an hour. So in one hour we have 70%, we had uh, 45 and uh, 50% and it's still charging with 10 amps per hour. The charging status is flickering. So after another hour we have 80%. So now it's 100%. It, uh, the voltage is 14.7, I don't know if you can see. And uh, the current is zero. At the right so the LED it's uh, lighting up in green so the battery is full so I seen that in this ODA8 for example the consumes are very high for example I have 15 amps when I unlock the car so when I unlock the car let's see for example let's unlock it now the only the truck is unlocked and uh, the chargers starting to work and it shows me 55% because the consumes of the battery it's large it's very high so uh, when you lock your car the it will rapidly say 100% because the battery doesn't have any consumer so it uh, can consume when you are in the car and all the computers are activated it can consume up to 20 amps dependingly on your car so thank you guys for watching if you find this product helpful for uh, your car buy it uh, it will work from 20 amps to 150 amps batteries and we recommend this product for big batteries don't buy it for small batteries because it will deteriorate like i said in time of course please like this video and thumbs up for us guys thank you for watching have a great day bye